Hey, I'm up here at Sibley, uh, Illinois, and uh, gonna take a little video here. To start with is they have a Sibley area Centennial 1877 to 1977 capsule open July 4th, 2027. So that's only three years away. So we're gonna start over here. with a Michael L. Sullivan. And here, let's see, bought 40,960 acres in 1866. Next 10 years, developed the land. He and his workers broke the uh, <coughs> side, drained wet prairie land, hired 250 men of Swedish German descent, lived in boarding houses. Mr. Sullivan was the commander in chief. He had a brigadier general, 12 captains, three lieutenants for each captain. Three rivers had their source uh, on the Sullivan land, the Sangamon, Mackinac, Vermilion. Near a grove of about 150 acres of burr oak trees, he built his home, named it Burr Oaks. Various businesses were created and became a town. A railroad was built on his property in 1874, and he built an elevator. A new town was laid out by the Wabash Railroad in 1877. Sullivan, <coughs> having financial problems and his health was failing, his largest creditor, eh, creditor was Hiram Sibley. Mr. Sibley purchased 17,640 acres. The new town became Sibley. And there, that's uh, Mr. Sullivan. And so, we'll go over to the next one, Hiram Sibley. We'll go up here, that's uh, what Hiram Sibley looked like. And this building here, the land office, that building is still here. It's down at the end of the, uh, the street. Let me see if I can turn around here. Well, it's covered by trees. This is the corner store here. Uh, the land office building. Uh, there you go. It's that last big tall brick building there at the end of the block. So, we'll see what's uh, going on here. Hiram resided in Rochester, New York. He was a successful banker, real estate dealer, explored the telegraph industry with Ezra Cornell and Samuel Morse. Wow. Consolidated their forces, created Western Union in 1864. He served as president of the company. Hiram acquired, ah, <laughs> acquired much of Michael Sullivan's land in 1877-78. Some land was sold, and he retained 17,640 acres. He established a tile factory, a complex draining system, uh, established 146 farms, created a model for tenant farming. Bars were painted red, houses were painted western union yellow. In 1880, a train depot was built for the railroad, which is this over here. That is the train depot. And to get back to the story, let's see. Uh, Large hotel was built the same year. Well, now there's no hotel here. He established improvements to the community with the number of dwellings, school churches, a large seed barn, a flax mill, stores, and his business office, Hiram Sibley Land Office. And that's that uh, last building that I was showing you at the end of the block. After his death, his grandson, Harper Sibley, took the reign of the estate. Harper had one of the largest corn cribs built in 1910. Charles Rohrer designed the crib. So, that's uh, his grandson. Well, we're coming down to the next one. Uh, there's the old depot. Main Street looking south. Uh, let's see. That, the town hall. Now, that building is still here, the town hall. Let's go see what this says. This says, Sibley grows into a town. Sibley began as a community thriving from agriculture and businesses to serve the people of the community. Oats Elevator, Old Blue, was built in 1898. Mr. Sibley began erecting general wooden stores. Town grew to have a drugstore, photography shop, meat market, cafe, blacksmith shop, and a flax mill, two ice houses, and more. The Sibley House, a hotel, was built in 1880 next to the railroad in 1927. Dr. Absher had his office on the left side. Across the highway, Lincoln Street was a factory addition for canning and tile factories. The Shell Pipeline was also located there in 26. 
first restaurant, the Star Cafe, was opened by Mrs. Sleezer. What? I don't, how would you like to have an, a cafe ran by a Sleezer? <laughs> okay. Uh, entertainment company stayed at the hotel and performed at the Opera House. Sibley Bank was built in 07, 1907, located in several buildings. The bank closed in 32 during the Depression. The Sibley de Depot was built for the Wabash St. Louis Pacific Railroad. It burned in 1903, but was repaired to look like it is today. Township Hall was built in 06. 1906 suffered through a tornado in 1927. It housed the first free movies, had graduation ceremonies, and served as a gym until school, the school built one. The community has seen many businesses come and go. We all have pride as to what the village was and has become. Now we have the schools. This little uh, Lutheran church, uh, it's kind of still here. It doesn't have this stuff on, on the side here. It's just the front part. And I think the rest of this stuff is gone. So let's see what the, the story says on that. Schools, the lake, and churches. Yeah, there's a lake here. First school built in 1884, torn down in 1918. The, uh, a new school was built in 1917 with a three-year recognition uh, for a high school. In 27, recognition was given for a four-year high school. Jim was added in 1940. The last class uh, last to graduate was in 1993. The lake was named Lake Bickett for Mr. Sullivan's farm manager. Later, it was named Sibley Lake. The lake has been used for the ice houses, enjoyment of fishing, boating, ice skating, and swimming. The 4th of July is celebrated there with a large celebration. The Methodist Church originated in Burr Oaks in 1873. In 1889, Eliza Marie Tinker Sibley Hiram's mom donated a plot of ground for a church dedicated in 1924. A pipe organ was given by Hiram Sibley, and stained glass windows were given by the Bickett and stair. And stained glass windows were given. Ah, and stained glass windows were given by the Bickett stair and Cameron families. It was torn down in 2010. The Swedish Lutheran Church organized in 1877, built in 1891. Sold in 1928. The German Lutheran Church was built in 1890. The wooden structure burned in 1921. And a new brick church, St. John's Lutheran Church, was built in 1922, which still serves as a house of worship. All right. Well, and here's an old lamp post. And they got some benches here to sit in and some flowers, stuff like that. So, Okay, hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe, and uh, I'll be catching you again later. Thanks.